We all know the AK-47 and its long stroke goodness to be one of the most popular and reliable firearms in the world. Let's talk about why the short stroke goodness of the VZ-58 is so much better. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today at Classic Firearms and we're here to film on some AKs. Well, one AK. Well, actually, it's not even technically an AK. It's the Zastava M70, which is gonna represent our AK platform versus, well, what some people in Hollywood might think is an AK, if you've ever seen the movie Lord of War, I'm looking at you. Uh, this is actually the Czech VZ-58. And it has been confused as an AK quite often, and you guys really shouldn't offend it like that because it's so much better. Are you guys in the comment section yet? Anyway, what is the difference between the Czech VZ-58 and the AK-47, right? They're both chambered in 762 by 39. It looks like they both should take the same mag. They don't. They look like they should operate the same. They don't. And it looks like that they should have pretty similar internals, which they don't. So what is the differences? Because we've talked about the same caliber and that's really about it. Well, first of all, a lot of the AKs that we see on the market today are actually stamped receivers. Uh, this one is milled. All VZ-58s, at least that I know of, have been milled receivers. And they somehow maintain a very light weight to them, which is pretty awesome for ergonomics and just comfort maneuverability. Now, granted, this one does have a shorter barrel on it, about a 13-inch barrel or so, and maybe a little bit longer but we know the traditional 16 inch barrel out here. And if you guys notice the rain, the AKs decided they wanted to shoot in the rain. It's kind of their environment. It just makes sense. And no, these guns aren't gonna be sold to anybody. <laughs> these ones are pretty much mine. <laughs> right, Ben? Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's take this guy down range really quick. Let's go shoot it. And while we're shooting it, talk about, well, what makes it an AK. Oh man, that feels good. So what makes an AK an AK? First of all, we know that the original AK was stamped. Uh, it was a stamped receiver, then it was milled, and then it was back to stamped and chambered in 760 by 39, utilizing a long stroke piston driven system, hammer fired, rotating bolt, just an awesome, awesome design by uh, Mr. Kalashnikov. It has been in service, well, all over the world and is still seeing service today, whether it be through legitimate organizations or not. Oh man, and the Zastava M70 that you see right here is a fantastic firearm. First of all, they're, they're a manufacturer that listens to the market. They listen to the end consumer there or the end user and for instance they chrome lined the barrels they <laughs> made the bulge trunnions at 1.5 millimeter thickness and even though they're already pretty tough they decided to go ahead and strengthen it anyway because that right there is obviously seeing the most stress on the firearm that's pretty much encapsulating that explosion that takes place in the extracting and chambering of the next round fantastic firearm Last round bolt hold open on this mag, which isn't traditional, but that's okay. The gun itself doesn't actually feature a last round bolt hold open. It's just built into the magazine. Excellent gun. Just keep in mind though, this is more of a Yugo style gun. So your traditional AK parts, like your foreign stock, they're not gonna fit, all right? But fantastic firearm. Now let's compare that to the short stroke piston driven system of the VZ-58. Uh, we've covered this in a lot of videos. So if you wanna see a more in-depth review of a short stroke versus long stroke, you can check that video out, me and Matt are in that. Uh, we cover it, like I said, a lot. But to sum it up for you, and actually the VZ-58 makes it very easy to sum up because I can show you First of all, all this is open. You'll notice on the standard AK, about to get myself VZ-58 hand, you'll notice on the standard AK, you've got the dust cover that, well, covers everything for you. And there's this piston that you see right here. This is that whole operation rod or the op rod that connects to the bolt carrier group itself that operates the gun. So those gases travel down the barrel, come here through the gas block and push on that piston and operate the bolt. Pretty sweet, right? So nothing really similar <laughs> other than those gases traveling down the barrel coming to a very similar type of gas block. But what you'll notice 
first of all, a built-in bolt catch. It's kind of nice. What you'll notice is you have this little piston right here that actually strikes the bolt carrier group. So a little piston there. That guy actually comes back, cycles, hits this here, and well, then it sends the bolt home and chambers the next round. There's actually nothing connecting the bolt carrier group to that piston at all. It's all a separate piece, which is pretty neat. So that's what's called a short stroke piston driven system. You'll also notice on your standard AK mag, you don't have this spine that runs throughout the length of it. So you can't use standard AK mags with a VZ58. And if you look at the lock up here, you'll see exactly why that is. First of all, the mag release is off to the left hand side. That's to leave room for your bolt catch, that little button right here. So when I lock this guy into place, first of all, it's a very sturdy lock, like no mag wobble whatsoever. What you're hearing is the sling swivel and the mags in here or the rounds in here but there is no wobble whatsoever very tight lockup and let's go ahead and just run a couple rounds for this guy so you guys can see what this is all about and you'll notice too that if it was on safe i couldn't cycle the bolt but i am on fire now let's take a couple of shots You could tell a new gun, all those initial smoke and oil burning off and everything else and that flash you get from that shorter barrel on this guy is fantastic. Now keep in mind, this is legitimately a pistol, not a short barreled rifle or anything like that. So another thing that makes this guy different compared to the AK is the fact this actually utilizes more of a striker fired system, which is pretty much the firing pin is held in place by a spring that is then released and allows to make contact to the primer of the uh, cartridge, which then sends the round down range. So pretty neat because you do have a hammered fired firearm when it comes to the AK design. That muzzle flash is something awesome. Now, another cool thing about this being such an open piece back here is there's not really any room for air when it comes to extraction. It's just gonna launch, you know, <laughs> shells all over the place, but you're not gonna really have to worry about it getting caught up or anything like that. And I think ultimately kind of increases reliability. Sure, you have the potential for stuff getting in there, but again, with the, how this is designed, its reliability is, well, pretty good. Is it as reliable as the AK-47, the long stroke design, that's debatable. Personally, again, my opinion, I don't think it is. Just throwing it out there. The long stroke system is simply just a little less complex than the short stroke system. And with that being said, they both work really, really well. So there's that. Whew. Look at that. Last round bolt hold open. If I insert a new mag, you can just send that guy without an issue. But again, you can look at that very open breach that you have there, and it's just a pretty simple design in that aspect. But again, the short stroke, just the nature of it, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but nothing again that's gonna really cause issues with the gun. So biggest difference is you're gonna find, you can find AKs with milled receivers, of course, but just about all VZ58s will be milled. Uh, you're obviously gonna have different parts, as far as the magazine goes, the internal components, all of those are gonna be different because of, again, just how it operates. The VZ58, been around since the late 50s, I'll let you guess what year, 1958. <laughs> it had uh, some designs, uh, it was pretty much designed during the late 50s, 56 to 58, saw service in 1959, uh, but in the early 80s, they pretty much stopped producing the military variation of this, but it's still being produced today. This is a new production VZ58 by Czech Small Arms, which is super cool and a really, really fun gun. Again, they just look very good. And on top of that, they're pretty lightweight, which is pretty impressive. Granted, yes, I know it has a shorter barrel than the Zostava here, but at the end of the day, it's a nice lightweight gun. It feels really good to shoot. But if you're looking for that traditional long stroke gun, the AK system is just where it's at. But if you wanna be somewhat different and think you're better than everybody else, kind of like HK, go with the uh, VZ58. Check small arms, makes a great option for you, and you definitely should check them out. Anyway, let me know which one you guys prefer down in the comments section. Of course, there's our price differences and things along those lines. And also too, just stuff that's more common. You can definitely find more AK mags on the market than you can VZ58 VZ mags. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Anyway, I'll hear from you guys down in the comment section below. I'm gonna let the rain kind of cool these guns off a little bit. I know they're asking to be, uh, you know, watered. So maybe we'll sprout more AKs. I don't know if that works or not, or if that's how they do it in Russia. But anyway, 
I'll leave it off there. Don't forget too to check out our current giveaway because here at Classic Firearms, we like to give away lots of guns, whether it be SCARs, 50 cals, MP5s, I don't know, custom high-end ARs. It could be whatever you could ever imagine, I don't know. Anyway, classicfirearms.com is where you can get your entries. Don't miss out. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.